flowers are in full bloom, maybe so much so that you want to bring a little bit of that beauty inside. It's an easy way to brighten your home or the perfect summer gift. Kelly Glover from Armful of Flowers is going to walk us through how to make a bouquet or dry them for some easy fall decor. And this is truly very simple. So simple. Um, it's a kind of a strange time of year, right? We're between summertime almost to fall. I know a lot of people are probably already hit up the local home goods for their fall decor already. I have not, but I have seen people. Right. I'm, I'm like, just not in that camp it's yet. It's so tempting, but we still <laughs> have all of these beautiful flowers. I mean, really, our gardens are in like full bloom right now. If you look yeah. outside, if you go to your local farmer's market, you come to our store, there's just an abundance of flowers. So we're going to kind of talk about how to build a really beautiful, simple mason jar arrangement, easy to gift to somebody or just enjoy yourself. I love the flowers that you pick and brought here. So how are, we're starting here with this beautiful mason yeah, jar. So we have a mason jar and um, what we noticed today, so not only are we going to arrange like a fresh arrangement, but we're actually choosing and selecting um, different items that can dry really nicely too. Oh, so one of my favorite greeneries, which we're going to start with first, is eucalyptus. It smells really it beautiful. Does. It's immediately what I smell. Absolutely. I smell Amazing, but it dries really nicely too. So we're just gonna kind of throw these in there. I like I to make put a little. It right in here you can put or? them right in. Let them kind of fall naturally. I like to make a little Y shape just yeah. to kind of Mine have like naturally a, did that. Yeah, Lucky exactly. Me. And then you can grab another stem and just kind of make it look pretty. And that's where we're gonna start. Okay, super easy. You kind of need that filler. Right. You has... need something to give it shape to give it a bit of foundation. Um, you can use any kind of greenery in your backyard or from your farm market though. Then I like to add what I call filler and a little bit of texture. So these are amaranth. Um, they're like a really pretty grain flower. And I picked these in particular because they dry really beautifully and they kind of have little touches of fall too, which in a moment you'll see why we're pulling lots of beautiful fall flowers. So for something like this, do you put them together? Do you separate them too? So now that What's you the made- What's trick to arranging? Right, so we made our like kind of Y shape with our greenery, right? Yeah. So now when we add these guys, we're gonna do them the same exact way. So you're gonna add one piece going one direction of your Y shape, oh. and then your other piece kind of going your other direction. And if you need to cut a little shorter, you can always use some kitchen shears like or what have you. Yeah, yeah, that looks so fun. So then we gotta have a nice little filler. These are yarrow. Yarrow, um, they're a really beautiful perennial. They smell really nice. Um, and they're really easy to dry as well. Again, we're gonna get two uses out of this bouquet, not just fresh, but also, um, you know, to dry later on. So these, we're not being as dramatic with like how like long we're cutting the stems. We're kind of putting them closer to the center to really kind of fill that center part in. Do you cut at an angle? Is there, cause I, yeah. I've, I've heard some people say if you cut at an angle, they absorb the water better? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So essentially cutting at an angle, all it does is it increases the surface area, right? So it allows for that water to soak it up a bit more efficiently mm -hmm. than if you just cut straight across. That sounds pretty tasty. Yeah, go ahead. Add as many as you want. Yeah, I like when you when you know that you're going to get some extra life out of something because oh, the blooms sure. aren't all the way in. Absolutely. Now, this is the fun part. And if, if we're going to try again to make this into a dried arrangement later on. And these are from our farm. Oh, I mean, all of this is, pretty. but these are called straw flowers. And if you feel them, they feel and oh, like sound like yes. paper. They're actually also nicknamed um, everlasting flowers because they will dry just like this in so beautifully color? in the same color. Wow. They retain that color. And I really picked this kind of moody, darker one because I felt like for Halloween, you know, later on when this dries, it'll really kind of look a little spooky. Um, so kind of tuck those really wherever you feel like there's an empty spot. This is where you really don't have to think much about it because, because you've already taken up the bulk with exactly, the other side. Exactly, okay, exactly. But obviously we want um, these guys to kind of fill in, but then um, we're going to add a few whimsical things too. Aww. So this time of year, like I said, lots of blooms, but we're starting to see some grasses come up. Um, we have, this is called savanna grass. We have different types of wheat that we're going to be using. And then we also have these really fun bunny tails from our farm as well. Um, so these I like to keep kind of long because I call them the butterfly effect blooms. They look like little butterflies kind of dancing along Aww, the top of your arrangement. So while we're putting in these items here, tell me about uh, flower Fest, because this Ooh. is coming up and it's so much fun and a great way to support local. Yes, yeah, so we have our Flower Fest coming up on August 20th. I'm so excited, guys. It's going to be such a magical event. 
It's themed all around flowers. So we're gonna have 15 local businesses and vendors coming in to um, kind of represent what um, different products are out there themed around flowers. Oh. Flower um, flavored drinks and food, macaroons, all sorts of fun stuff. And then you also have an opportunity to pick your own flowers from our urban flower farm on Mount Washington. All right, I know we're running out of time, yes. but we have a couple more. We're gonna put these yeah. flowers so in. So this is the easy part, tuck these guys in. And then if you wanna take an extra step, you can certainly wrap and twine Oop. if you want. Oop, caught on you. Caught on you. <laughs> but once you let this guy kind of naturally dry in the vase, you let the water evaporate, you really don't have to overthink it. It turns into an absolutely gorgeous fall dried arrangement. Um, and it's perfect for the fall time. You know, you have those oranges, those dark colors in it. Um, what um, Heather's doing now is um, she's kind of just wrapping the bottom. You know, if you do want to gift this, you can wrap this right around and make it into a cute little and then yep. it, you just have that nice paper look and it looks right. like it's right from Armful of Flowers. Right from Armful of Flowers. Oh, it's a really cute little gift that you can give. Um, just a really fun way to kind of zhuzh up just a little mason jar arrangement, you know? Well, um, Kelly, this yeah. is so nice and so much fun taking yes. us from the dog days of summer right into fall. So Absolutely. thank you so much. You're welcome. And of course, if you want more information about Flower Fest, you can head to our website or if you're interested in learning more, about Armful of Flowers, you can go to kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.